Hey guys, Oren here from Never Lucky. I'm just going to make a quick video showing you the various uses of the Engineer Hammer Skill Rocket Charge. Looking at the skill, it's got decent damage. It has uh, three leaps, only two of which are finishers. It hits an AoE, and it also provides you evade frames while you're dodging. Let's look at how we can use it. So the first thing you're going to want to do when you're running Hammer is turn auto-targeting off. This is true in most cases, but it's especially impactful here because if you're trying to use rocket charge to escape from an enemy, then auto targeting will work against you. This is how it's supposed to work without auto targeting targeting on. I can just untarget him and I can escape with it. However, if I turn auto targeting on like so, and then I go back in on him, then when I target him, I hit away, and I'm trying to escape with it, it's going to put me right back into him. Next, to make proper use of your leap finishers in the rocket charge, you're going to want to leap through a field twice. Now, if you just drop a field and try to leap through it, you're going to only land the first leap and miss the second one. So you're just going to want to make sure that you have your enemy targeted when you drop your field. And then leap into them and both of your leap finishers will land. Next, you're going to want to turn on another setting for your hammer. It allows skill retargeting, it's in your general options, and basically it lets you change the target of your cast in the, um, of your skill in the middle of your cast. Uh, it's good for most classes, but it's especially important on NG, because in the middle of your rocket charge, you can decide to reposition. You just click on the target, and it'll take you to it. If you look at the skill fat for rocket charge, you'll notice that it mentions that you evade for one second while the duration of the skill is one and three quarters. That's because you're not evading for the full duration of the skill. When you're moving between when you're not moving between jumps, you're actually vulnerable. Playing against engineers, you can use that time to CC to reduce their evade frames and damage, uh, as long as they don't have stability. If you are playing as the engineer, then you just want to keep that in mind so you don't get hit by long cast skills like two shot when you could easily evade it with a slightly better timed rocket charge. So I'm just going to show you the skill and mention when you're not evading. So you're evading not, not, and not. So that's that. Lastly, the uh, aftercast of rocket charge is fairly long. Um, well, not actually very long, but when you're trying to escape from people, uh, fractions of a second can count. Uh, so basically, there's a way for you to cancel the aftercast of the skill, and that's by swapping in Elixir Gun in the middle of the cast, and then as soon as the last one lands, you can swap it back in. Uh, so it essentially just gets rid of the part at the end where you're standing still. So I just showed it with the Elixir Gun cancel, and then here it is without. You stand there for a fraction of a second, and then you can move. I'll show you it one more time with the elixir gun just to show that I'm able to move immediately after I finish the cast. So here we go. Anyway, hope you found all those tips helpful. Thanks for watching.